Freddie Davis here, President of Market Faith Ministries, coming to you again from the library. Market Faith Ministries provides radical disciple training to help believers become more knowledgeable of and confident in their Christian faith. We are a lay seminary in a can. Today's question, how does worldview affect prayer? Well, a person's worldview is so foundational that different worldviews literally consider prayer very differently. For instance, in naturalism, there is no God. So, in naturalism, prayer is a totally meaningless concept. In animism, man's interaction with the gods is rather selfish. The gods are looked to as a means for bringing good things to them or to take care of the individual. So, prayer is directed towards trying to uh, get good things for oneself. Far Eastern thought considers that there is no objective God. The ultimate reality is nothing more than the impersonal life force so there's really no one out there to pray to. Now in theism, God does exist, so prayer does have meaning. But the nature of prayer depends on the nature of the particular God being prayed to. There are a number of different theistic belief systems and each one has a different understanding of who God is and what He's like. In the Christian faith, the God of the Bible is the God that we consider to be the real, true God. He's personal and He's interactive and the purpose of prayer then is to do personal communication with him. You can find out more information about worldview and about the Christian worldview in particular by going to the Market Faith Ministries website. You can find that at www.marketfaith.org.